competition driving uh, school course. To race in sanctioned SVRA events, every racer must have a current competition license. To acquire that license, a racer must have been licensed previously and a graduate of a recognized and accredited road racing school. I took the Bob Bondurant School and did well. I took the SCCA driving school. I've been to the Skip Barber driving school. I recently took an open wheel school just because. Once a racer decides to compete in vintage car racing, he or she needs to acquire a race car. Vintage race cars cost anywhere from a few thousand dollars to a few hundred thousand dollars and usually a few more dollars to make them safety qualified and race ready. You know, you find a car that you love, that, look, that looks great. I've always wanted one of these, or I love the look of that. And, uh, and you find something you can afford and go after. My dad and I went over and looked at the car, and it was sitting on the side of this guy's house, and uh, it looked pretty disheveled. And So we offered the guy $200 for it, and he said, yeah. But as soon as that engine ran, my brother went running to the auto trader, and we bought our second Jaguars. And that's when the disease started. <laughs> My very first car when I was 17 was a 68 convertible Shelby Mustang. And I went to school and paid, paid for it by washing dishes seven nights a week. I rode my bike to the local used car lot and I found a 76 Camaro. And I negotiated with the guy and I purchased the car. But I wasn't able to drive it home, so he had to deliver it to my house. Okay, if you put four brand new Blue Streak uh, tires on it, put a new fuel cell, and you put a different seat, because I can't sit in the seat, um, and uh, bring it to the racetrack for me, then I'll buy it. And, and by the way, I'd like to pay for it $1,000 a month for 12 months. So he sold it to me for $12,000. As I was finishing college at Colorado State, I had the option of going into a professional lifestyle where I could actually make money, or I could go and join my father and go vintage racing, which I was assured of making no money although I'd have the opportunity to race with my father, so uh, what kid can't uh, take him up on that? The SVRA conducts a driver orientation program for licensed drivers.